What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, huh? It's your boy right here. Kumore. I can I leave it cool. That's Mr. Tuesday on Chicks and Soup. And this week's subject is a simple question from one of our subscribers. Basically, how did we go from this to this? Right. Right. So... It's like, what are the key notes or what are the key things that happened that got me healed? Does that make sense? Back in the time, my first step, my first post-it note, I've always, like I said, like dudes, but I wanted to be with somebody who accepted me as the rough girl that I was. I wasn't the most dainty nigga. You know, so I wanted someone to accept me exactly how I was, dressing boyish and up. So that let me know that I didn't have no plans to change. You know what I mean? This is how I was. And I was going to stay that way. First post-it note will be acceptance. My second post-it note will probably be the awkward moment that I felt when I had a boyfriend. Uh... I felt awkward. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to act. I wanted to do him. No. I didn't want him to do me. I wanted to do him. And that was another post-it note. When I realized that I wanted him to take his clothes off and get into bed, I had an issue. That awkward moment led me here. A friend of mine, thanks, homegirl, who took me on an eventual well, it was a bunch of br- women. Sorry, baby. It was a bunch of women who like like me. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, I felt that comfort. So that's my next one. Finding comfort, being in an environment where people actually liked me the way I was. They was like, oh, you dress good. I'm like, what? I never heard those type of things. I've never heard that many compliments, and I never felt that comfortable. So, yeah, that was a big step. After dabbling with my shell females and, like, getting into the lifestyle, I got to this other point where I was actually lonely. Uh, I didn't have a girlfriend or anything. I was lonely. I felt secluded. I felt like I couldn't relate to my friends because they have boyfriends. I didn't have, I just felt weird. Okay. I felt lonely, I felt secluded, I felt like no one could understand what I was going through. I didn't have no rainbow family. I, um, I just wanted to have a regular family. I didn't want this alternative lifestyle. I just wanted to be regular to me. God, spirituality, that's a big deal to me. So when I would read in the Bible, like, oh, God finds favor with a man who has a wife, I used to be like, man, I just want to be a man who has a wife. So God can have favor on me. You know, I started getting more into the stage where I was insecure. Yeah, it went downhill. I was now insecure because I knew that I wanted to be the man God called me to be. But at the same time, think about it, um, that's kind of weird. So that added a lot of insecurity because I didn't know what female would accept me that way. I was going to have to be a lesbian with girls who thought I was too manly. I was going to have to be with some dude who thought I was too manly. Whatever. I found myself thinking I'm going to be with somebody who don't accept me completely. So I got sad about that, John. That insecurity came, envy and dysphoria and all that other garbage. Yes, all this has led me to where I am today. Don't hate on me. Because all I could do now is look at dudes and wish I was them. At this point, it was right, I guess, about college. All I wanted to do was be a guy. There is a place that I am accepted completely how I am, manly, womanly, girly, whatever. I found somebody like that. A beautiful relationship is really possible. Yeah, so it's like it begins with acceptance, and it ends with acceptance for me. If my family would have been one of those families that was like, you can't do this, you can't do this, we'll kick you out of the house or whatever for doing this, I probably wouldn't be here. So it was that acceptance from my family that got me here. 
Yeah. And it was that non-acceptance from other people that got me here. Yeah, that was a lot, right? I feel like my journey, I'm on the right path and all this way. So, yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Get it sticking to it like a stick. No. Anyways, thank y'all for listening to me, Babble. I'm out of here. Ah.